<laughs> Good day, viewers. Oh, there was a motor in this device after all. Here's the old Pioneer motor. The brushes are absolutely shagged. I made an attempt to fix it and straighten them out, and one or two fingers that remained. But upon testing it on the battery, I, um, they shorted out directly across and melted. Whoops. But here's the original commutator. All that brush me uh, metal fragment bloody powder all over them. Carbon from the brushes. And those big grooves in the commutator. This motor's had a lot of hours on it. So I took a matched sheet of Panasonic motor from that old tank there. Took bits and turnals out. And I'm going to extend those terminals to these wires and put this board on that motor and put that motor inside this um, shell. So that's, you know, that's a uh, Pioneer motor shell with a um, Panasonic armature and brushes in there. So it's a um, Pyasonic. Uh, <laughs> that's a sheer brand. Okay, the uh, pad already checked. I'm going to have to shorten these a little bit so I can um, solder them to the motor. Here's a charging part. Normally, um, when people come across these and the motor's bad, they just throw the whole thing out of kit for parts. But I'm going to, um, since I've got the parts on hand, I'm going to have a go at fixing this myself. I've uh, got the, uh, already got my calibration tape made up, so if it's off speed, I can just uh, get a frequency reading off the speaker terminals and just adjust the speed accordingly. I've uh, learnt the hard way that this shell of that motor is live because it hit that chassis and sparked. I was like, whoops, lucky I didn't kill anything. Anyway, let's uh, get this thing assembled. Okay, if yours, this camera's starting to play up. It doesn't matter what SD card I'm putting it out, it just says check card and control data, buddy, error. This camera's on its way out. Dog duck, it's just pissing me off, it's a mess. Now I fixed it, but now the motor just mangs. It's on the rev limiter, it's not even that big and high. Have a listen to that. It's got a big cam in the motor. Hey. It's fluctuating. Yeah, look at that. It doesn't matter what the setting on the potentiometer of the motor is, it's doing it the same. Unless I turn the motor on, flat, full, full speed, it's fine. It's in here, I've measured and probed the uh, power supply of the motor. It's fluctuating between 12 and 14 volts, so there's something wrong with the regulator. Well, the capacitor of the regulator has gone bad in this board. Yeah, that's gonna play a tape real well, isn't it? Imagine listening to a tape like that. The fluctuating audio is gonna come into this bad boy. Auto stop works, but the motor doesn't turn off. There's something wrong with this board. But unless my, unless my motor trick worked, I just took the guts out of the Pioneer motor. And it worked brilliantly, put the board together in here. We worked out brilliant just to suck well on this board. We've got to check the regulator. Well, all these capacitors go into the regulator. It's definitely not the motor, because the motor ran fine when I tested it on a battery. And playing with a potential, as I said, does nothing. Flat neck, it's fine. I oh, know it's not. Yeah, it's still doing it at flat neck too. Yeah, there's something wrong with this board. It's on this board. Anyway, I've got to get a schematic for this thing. There's a million of these things around, so I'll just find a service menu to it and find where the, um, uh, the regulator is. I know what's happening on there, so. See how common this fault is. That's why I know if um, anyone else has come across this uh, fault in this particular unit. I've never actually come across a cassette deck that did that. Everything else works fine, the lights are fine, the meters aren't moving like crazy. It's just that just the motor's getting that power. So we've got power here, these are the motor power, so pin 7 and pin 9. I've got to trace those back in the other side of the board, I reckon. The only thing I'm going to do. Oh, 
Let's take it out of his hot. T1031. I reckon it's that regulator. That must affect the part of the motor. That's hot. These aren't fluctuating, though. They're at normal run. Those lights are at normal run. Power. So, I guess I'll start with this regulator. That's pretty hot. I could hold a finger on it, but not for very long. It's a possibility. Get a close look at that regulator. B, is it B or D? B, A1031, hard to read that. Yeah, it's this uh, transistor. I'm going to take this off, board off, and check underneath it. I reckon it's that regulator. Possibly, that regulator could be bad. Just doesn't want to regulate voltage anymore, it's too old. Anyway. Possibly it's that regulator. But um, if everything else is fine, the lights aren't dimming up or going dim or these meters aren't moving like that. I guess I could probe those lights and see what voltage they are and see what the multimeter says. That'd be what I'd want. Let's have a look here. I'll get the multimeter on those lights, the dial lamps. Let's play. I'll just check those lights. I'll set the multimeter up so you can see those lights. I'll probe those lights, see what the voltage they're getting. You'll see how stable that is. Gee, that thing sounds crazy. It must be an AC voltage, is it? Oh, it is too. Actually, the lights are fluctuating at AC too. I think it's a regulator, but I, that's sort of on a DC side of it. This is... There's dial out to an AC. Oh, God damn! Ha <laughs> ha! bloody bulb's not working. They didn't blow either. What the hell? I didn't short nothing out, I just had the multimeter probes monitoring the voltage. All of a sudden it just dropped to zero. I go, huh? There is something failing on this board. Oh, rubble the capacitors carefully. Just to check if they're corroded or not. Careful where I'm touching here. It's sort of low voltage side anyway. I'm not touching over there, that's the main side. Yeah, there's something wrong with this board. Oh. I've got some trouble shooting you do. Bloody eyes a fast, fast board. I mean, there's something wrong with the power supply. Oh, anyway, viewers, this camera's starting to play up. Uh, what a prick of a day. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching. I'm going to figure out what's wrong with this bloody camera.